Yom Kippur is coming, and it is so exciting to be giving this Dvar Torah and to share one thought with you that hopefully will inspire you throughout Yom Kippur. The last Mishnah in Masech the Tainas says, Amar Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, Lo hayu yomim tovim li yashal, like Tuba'av and Yom Kippur. There was no greater holiday in the world than Tuba'av and Yom Kippur. What are those two days? What does that mean? So Rabbi Shlomo Freifeld Zatzal said, so what's the holiday of Tuba'av? Tuba'av is when the Jewish women would go out and the men and try to find Shaduchim. They would try to get married. It was the day of marriage. It was also a day where the Jews were able to finish, build, uh, finish the gathering wood for the Karbanas and they can go and learn Torah. That was Tuba'av, a day to learn Torah, a day to go find your spouse. Yom Kippur was also a day of Chufa and the day where God gave the Jews back the Torah after all the Harsinai, the golden calf, it was the second time that Moshe Rabbeinu came down and gave him the Torah. Torah, tshuva, and marriage. Why is that the happiest day of the year? No greater day than that? So Rabbi Freifeld says, he says, marriage, Torah, and tshuva are amazing. All other holidays, they look back to the past. Pesach was back to the past. Purim, back to the past. Tshuva and Torah, and marriage, those are opportunities looking to the future. This is the day, there's no greater day in the world, there's no greater simple in the world in something that you can have to the future. It's a clean slate looking forward. And that's an opportunity we can't miss. And I'll tell you one more thing we can't miss, is that on Yom Kippur, there's an incredible opportunity of a word called kapara. Yom Kippur. What is kapara? What is this concept of, of atonement? So every day in Shimon Asher, we say slicha and machila, we talk about those concepts of forgiveness, those words. But in Yom Kippur, we say slach lanu, machal lanu, kapir lanu. What's kapara? So I'll tell you a story, and I think this will change all of our lives. Is that there was once a father, and he had this son, and he was so hard to, to manage. He was just really a bad kid, I don't know how else to put it. And the father had this new cut technique. You know what? Every day that you do something wrong, I'm gonna write it down on a chart. And he brings the kid in this, in this room and every single day he does something wrong, he writes a little note and he pins it to the board. And day after day after day, he writes a note and pins it to the board. And after a whole year, he brings the kid into this room and it's filled with notes. And the kid breaks down in tears, crying, confronted with who he really is. And he's so sad. And he says, Abba, what can I do? And he says, son, I'll give you a gift. Every day you do something good, I'm gonna change that, this wall and take out one of these notes. And after a year, the kid is getting, his behavior is so much better. And finally, without telling the young boy, the last note is taken down. And he brings the boy into this room and he, he says, look what you've done. And the boy breaks down in tears, crying. He says, why are you crying? You finally accomplished it. Look what you did with all your good deeds. And he says, Abba, look at the walls. I ruined the walls. He says, don't worry, son. I'll clean the walls for you. I'll fix the walls. See, every day we have slicha and mechila. Kapar is when the Rabbana Shalom, this opportunity when our Abba, when our Father says to us, I'll clean your sleep. You come to Shul. You do tshuva. The opportunity to the future is unbelievable. And you, if you do it right on your Kippur, you'll start walk out with a clean sleep. Pick something small and make it beautifully white and clean. Have a wonderful Gemara Chasim and a great Yom Kippur.